Okay, thank you, Donna, for giving me the opportunity here. And hopefully for everyone, I can give you some bits of nuggets today around the topic of Google My Business. Maybe just a quick uh, show of hands. Who knows what Google My Business is? As a hands up if you know what it is. Okay, so a few people don't. Okay, so we'll get, I'll get into it. So this is um, an important part of the online um, the online world at the moment. Google's putting a lot of money and their eggs into this uh, Google My Business platform that supports mostly local businesses. Okay, so this is just their, their page, Google My Business. But we're gonna dig into it and I'll give you some tips about how to set up your page, how to optimize it and what things you should be look, looking at uh, and why it's important. So it's got a bunch of different features within it. Um, it's linked with the Google Maps. It is a, an area, a place where you can put in all your information, loads of products, descriptions, uh, photographs of your business, but we'll go into that in a bit more detail. But really, it's a tool that every local business should be using. So if it's not suitable for yourself, your business, if you're not a local business yourself, maybe have, maybe have friends that are local businesses. So they need, really need to get involved here and to set up and optimize their profile. So let's dig into it. Everyone loves stats, so let's start with some stats. Obviously, we're all living in an online world. This slide was already generated before COVID, and we're now even in more of an online world. But the main, the main point here is that everything we do online actually drives offline. So when people are searching for local businesses, searching for a cafe, a restaurant, any sort of other local business, they're searching online first. So if you're not visible online, uh, you, you, your ability to get traffic offline is gonna be hampered as well. So this is where the Google My Business comes into play. 97% of people are, are searching for local businesses online. No, two other stats there as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside. So if you were to search for a company name, this example, white plumbing and heating, on the right hand side, this is what their Google My Business profile is. Okay, so has a picture, name of the company, address, websites, etc. We've all seen this when we've been on Google, when we've searched for a service, we've all seen this on the right hand side. When we click into it, this is on mobile, and you end up scrolling down the page, it gives you more options. So at the top, you yeah, had the information, the, the website, telephone number, etc., some pictures, and then it goes down to the, the ratings. So if, if you are on your mobile phone or your desktop and you search for any service, this is the way it looks at the moment. So say if you search for a plumber or search for a cafe, what's gonna happen is at the top you have the ads, PPC, pay-per-click ads. So at the top you have the people who are paying the premium position to be there. Then you have that small map called the Google My Business map, also called the local pack or three pack is another name for it. And then you have the organic SEO listings. Okay, so what I'm talking about today is is the Google My Business page, which is linked to this middle section, the Google Business section, which is linked then to the, the Google Maps environment. So um, most local businesses find it hard to rank in the SEO listings, the organic listings, so they put efforts into getting uh, rankings in the Google My Business, which is the middle section. Okay, let's have a look inside the dashboard. So if you were to log in to your dashboard, there's lots of different things that you um, that you need to take care of. And I'm gonna direct your attention to a few things and we'll walk through them together. First, it gives you an option to update your COVID-19 message. So this is important, particularly if you're a restaurant or a cafe, you wanna update your message so that you're saying, 
one, we're open for business, please come and visit us, and two, these are the measures we've taken to make it safe for you to come into our business. So people are looking for those type of answers at the moment. And the next one will, sorry, we'll go back there. On the left hand side, we have the important sections. You have your info, reviews, photos, products and services. We're gonna get jump into each, each one of them, but this is important that you get into each of these tabs and fill out your profile entirely. So yeah, that's just updating your COVID message and your COVID message appears here at the bottom of the screen, which is right there, important for your, your customers to see. Okay, so in the information section, wanna make sure that, sounds obvious, but you wanna make sure that your, your address here actually matches your website and matches any other listings you have around the web for your your company that's very important you don't want to confuse google google is a computer it's going to read the different addresses across the web you want to make sure that they're all in sync then you want to add in your service areas some people forget to put in here and they put in british columbia or canada and they fail to put in their service area hence they're not going to show up in when people are searching you can put in your hours and then on the right hand side you have the business description so this is kind of like your intro, a little bit of a, a little bit of a blurb <coughs> about us. <coughs> Excuse me. And <coughs> at the top here, under the business name, so this is not there. Google are constantly evolving and adding new categories. So if you find that you have to put in something like a business coach, but you're a life coach, and Google doesn't have that actual category. Just maybe check back in a couple of months time and they might have added your category in. Next is an area called photos. So you can see the tabs across the top. We have overview, we have by owner, customer, video, interior, exterior, products. So I'd encourage you to just add in as many of these products um, of, and many products and pictures of your company you have. Um, yeah, just fill out the profile, maybe get three or four in each of the different tabs. Tabs, um, but it'd be important just to fill out this section. There's also an area for adding in your products. So it can either be a product or a service. So in this case, uh, this jewelry appraisal company offers a half hour consultation. They also offer a, jewel, a one hour insurance jewelry appraisal. So this is, they've, uh, we've worked with them to add the different products in, make sure the profile is filled out entirely. You can also add in services. So this might be if someone is <clears throat> any sort of service, it could be a fitness center or a gym or a yoga, you can add in the different types of classes you do Bikram yoga, yin yoga, etc. Um, or even if it's a, um, if you're a business coach or anyone in that sort of uh, information information product uh, business, you could add in the different types of plans or programs that you might have. So that's the services. Then probably the most important part is the reviews. We all love. Reviews, they're so important. Why do reviews matter? <clears throat> it's obvious, but if you're searching, in this example for a physio in Vancouver, who are you gonna choose? 96 reviews, six reviews, or 23? It's probably most likely you're gonna click the one with 96 reviews. So you wanna have a strategy in place that you're gonna keep getting Google reviews on a consistent basis. This is how you do it. Within your profile, there's a button that says get more reviews. Click on the button. It's gonna pop up a link. You can now actually customize the link. So by clicking the arrow, you can type in your company name. You will have the, the start bit, but the last bit you can change it. For example, change it to focused on you or whatever your business name is. What you can do then is grab the link and craft an email. Hey Jerry, glad we were able to fix your roof. I really enjoyed working with you. If you had two minutes to leave us a review, that'd be greatly appreciated. 
give them the link and there you go blog posts so there's an area in here that offers blog posts I now consider Google my business and this blog post area as another social platform so if you're blogging and you're posting to Facebook to Instagram to Twitter to LinkedIn to I don't know TikTok if people use that these days I consider Google my business and this posting area another social profile that you need to be active on so I'm encouraging people to do at least one a week uh, it's a different type of uh, blog post here so I'm just gonna we're gonna jump into it it is um, they're all short so they're only 300 words you can add in one image the main the main message here is to keep it short and simple it's kind of like an update on your business uh, some new new things that are happening more of an announcement <clears throat> uh, possibly you could look at uh, different types of jobs and projects you worked on and put, put some a photo and a description there <clears throat> You, you can't actually hyperlink any of the text within the blog itself. So if you're re <coughs> re reading a website, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, if you're reading a website, if you're reading a blog on a website and you see a hyperlink text, so you can click on text that goes to another page. That's what we call a hyperlink. In this scenario, in Google Posts, you can't hyperlink any text. But at the bottom, you can create a button and add in a link. So here we have book, buy, learn more, get offer, etc. So if I, if I direct your attention to the top of the screen where it says what's new, event, offer, product. So there's a bunch of different things that you can select your update to be. Okay, so it's important. I'm encouraging people just to get in here and do one at least once a week, definitely. Um, and this is gonna help the the strength of your, your Google My Business profile overall. So why does it matter? <clears throat> the slide I showed you at the start, which was about the, the Google search environment, this is what it looks like in terms of how people click. So we had the ads at the top, and then we had the map with the map results, and then we have the organic listing. So this is the percentage of people who click on each of the sections. So 14% are clicking on ads. <clears throat> Between the, the, the map and the local map results, it's 34% and the rest is 50%. So if you don't have your Google My Business page and people are searching for services in your industry, you're completely missing out on this 34.6%, no, sorry, 34.6% uh, market here. So important for people local services to have your Google My Business page set up and to be competing here. So here's a, <clears throat> a new client we started working with a few months ago. You search for their company name and you have nothing on the right hand side, meaning they do not have their Google My Business page set up. So this is what their competitor would look like. Okay, Competitor is a coastline painting. They have their profile, their Google My Business listing and you can see that by looking on the right hand side. So what this really means in terms of people searching is that when someone is searching for line painting companies, because they don't have their Google My Business page set up, they're not, they don't even appear in this at all. So they're not even having a chance of getting found because they don't have their listing set up. And this is just an expanded version of uh, the other one. So yeah, if you have a friend who has a local business, I would recommend searching their company name. <clears throat> Look on the right hand side and if you don't see anything, you know that they don't have their Google My Business listing set up. And I encourage you to tell them to set it up. Okay, who is a four and who is a not four? Yes, it's for mainly um, local service businesses, so people in the trades, plumbers, roofers, electricians, practitioners, like chiropractors and physios, anyone in the medical space, counselors, uh, naturopathic doctors, even gyms and yogas and restaurants and bars, and on all the different types of brick and mortar. Okay, who's it not for? 
when I say not for, I mean not very important for. Um, software companies who might be, uh, yeah, software companies, international companies who might not need to get local clients in the door, and then also e-commerce companies as well. So it's not critical for these businesses to have their, their Google My Business page set up. <coughs> so there are some special features within it. This is an example of a restaurant. They're a vegan restaurant in Vancouver. Because they've listed themselves as a restaurant, they have additional buttons on the left-hand side. So they have a menu, <coughs> and they also have a bookings. So within the menu, they can add all the different types of products they have, and then the booking section, which you'll see down here at the bottom right-hand corner, it pops up, and you can link it to DoorDash. So you can link this to DoorDash, and I think they're working on other uh, different platforms, but um, it's really just making it easy for, for customers. And so on the, pro on the profile on the outside, there'll be a button, book online, it will pop up something pretty quick, select the products, book through DoorDash, or navigate to the website. So what are the rules here? Don't be spammy, which means don't try and fill your profile with copy and paste the same blog posts or the same pictures in every single day to try and get traction. It doesn't work like that. Google is smart and they have lots of spam triggers set up. So if you're doing anything that's considered spammy, that is unnatural, uh, they're gonna find you out and they're probably gonna suspend your listing. So you also gotta make sure you figure out if you are a service area business or a local area business. So a local area business is where someone can actually come and meet you at your office, at your facility. So if, if someone cannot meet you at your office, then you are a service area business. And it's important that you toggle the right one of these because this is how people get their listing suspended sometimes uh, by not having this set correctly. Uh, some people try to game the system, of course, and they set up multiple business, multiple listings for the same business. I worked with a client, a chiropractor, who had eight different ones, and eventually he got found out and everything was suspended and he had to go through a big rigmarole process of um, filling out applica reinstatement application forms and deleting Google accounts and, and finding what listings were linked to what accounts and then eventually at the end of the day leaving it with one account. So it was just a lot of pain and effort and Google found them out eventually. Engage your customers, meaning um, there are reviews in the review section in particular. If people are going to be giving reviews, you need to engage them and reply back to the reviews. In the question and A section, if people are asking questions, you need to make sure you're responding with your customers. This is what Google wants for you to engage and be active. So, what can you do now? You can create your free listing, your free Google My Business page. If you have friends that you believe do not have their Google My Business page set up, tell them to go and set it up. So give them a link, you can set it up for free. So what happens is when you log in, you'll see an area on the right hand side called complete your listing. So in this scenario, the, the company only had 40% complete. It's gonna tell you what you need to do to fill out your profile, so I encourage you to Follow the instructions there as well that can guide you along the way. Do you want to learn more? I have an article on my website called How to Set Up Your Google My Business Page. Uh, maybe we can send it out in the email afterwards. A uh, pretty easy step-by-step -step guide of how to set it up to make sure that you're toggling the right, um, toggling the right buttons at the start when you're configuring it. And if you're too busy to do it, um, for some of my clients, I manage all of this on their behalf because they're too busy working on their own business, they know the importance of it, and they want someone else to do it. So I have a Google My Business management service. So it's a monthly service, involves 
optimizing the listing, blog posts, adding photos, review management. So I will be answering, uh, re answering back to reviews that are left for the client. Um, the questions and answers section as well, management that, also publishing regular promotional posts. So um, if anyone you know who is a really busy local business who knows the importance of this and wants to just someone, someone else to take care of it because they can't manage it themselves, they don't have any time, this could be a good service for them. And then that's uh, pretty much it for today. Any questions? I'd happily, uh, yeah, happily help, happily answer.